let us see the floating hydro power plants using rainwater projects what are the components required first of all we need a water catchment area that's we can use our own house rooftop or institutions or industries or hospitals and the boat house rooftop then importantly we need a boat house boat house area is divided into three parts one is power house and another one is living room third one is for driver in power house what are the components required means one dual converter one three phase saline pole alternator and battery and speed governing setup and nanotechnology based turbine living room what are the components there means all your uh, cooking setups bedroom toilet facilities and power supply equipments all those things are available in living room then the driver section is a small area that's used for a driver cabin then these are the basic requirements for the floating hydro power plants then how come it works first of all the waters are collected in the boat house rooftop in 45 degree tank and sub tanks also there the in our house or hospital or industries or institutions the waters are collected and it will goes to the boat house rooftop the rooftop is act as a tank it will create a pressure uh, like a slope angle 45 degree and somewhat there means the pressure of the water will be increase in the downwards this after the tank we have to connect a uh, bigger size pipes and reduce the size of the pipe Uh, via the pressure will be increases this pressure is goes to the nanotechnology based weightless turbine now the turbine will rotates 300 rpm then the gear box setup will create a 1500 rpm this 1500 rpm is given to the rotor of the alternator this alternator is excited with the help of battery now this magnetic field cuts the stator armature conductors it produce emf and it will create a three phase ac supply after getting a three phase ac supply again this battery is charged with the help of rectifier circuit with a dual converter is there In rectifier mode the battery will charge up and the excitation process will be takes place then the speed governing mechanisms the pressure increasing in the inlet of the water going to the turbine this is called a speed governing mechanisms by this way we can change the frequency of the output of ac supply but at the same time at the same time we can increase the voltage with the help of the dc excitation given to the rotor so now we get a synchronized output voltage uh, rated voltage of indian standard 220 volt as well as the 50 hertz this supply is goes to the living room inside the boat house so the boat house it is like a house we are uh, what are the components we can using that same amount of components we can use in the living room then where we have to place this project we have to place this project in summer times in the rivers and uh, sea backwater area for uh, tourism purpose during the seasonable rainfall time or a uh, winter seasons we have to bring back this boat boat house to our home with the help of a truck or what we have to place this boat nearby our uh, house and we have to collect this water and the working process will be done the power will be generated this power we can give to the government also by uh, synchronizing with the uh, distribution lines with the help of online inverter with the help of online inverter by this way we get a income from this boat house in the raining season also then during the emergency time how this project is works the severe warning is given by the forecasting like a ra- severe rainfall etc at the times the people are fear to slip their own house they will get together inside the boat house living room the driver will monitor the situations and the same hydroelectric powers goes to the pressless dc motor as a 
electric drive for this board. With the help of this pressless DC motor and power electronics components, the driver will move this board from one place to another, another place. And safely they will stay back there two or three days uh, in the same boat itself. All the facilities will available in same boat house. After the situation became favor, they will return back their home uh, with the help of truck or other buses or other transport facilities. So by this way we, we are able to save thousands of people with the help of this same project. If you are like this project idea, share this idea to your friends and develop a good project. Thank you for listening to this project. Please share this link to your friends. Thank you.